Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the vlog. Today I want to talk about the Holy Rosary and the misconceptions behind the Holy Rosary. First I want to show you what a rosary looks like. Okay, each one of these silver beads is a mystery. And there's a decade in between each bead, which means there's one, two, three, four mysteries. And down here are the prayers after the rosary. Of course, our beloved Savior is on this rosary too. So, anyway, there's a lot of misconceptions behind the Holy Rosary. They say, oh, you're praying to saints and you're worshiping saints and you're worshiping the Blessed Mother. You aren't supposed to do that. No. That's not what they're doing. Jesus Christ is mentioned in the Holy Rosary. It's a series of prayers. If you reach the Phantom part of the prayer, it says, Oh my Jesus. And if you do Our Father, it mentions God. There are parts of it that pertain to the Blessed Mother, but we're not praying to her. This prayer is an intercessory prayer. We're asking her to uh, intervene on our behalf from heaven. This is not praying to her. This is not idolatry. This is asking her to intervene on our behalf. A lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about these prayers. And I also wanted to straighten that out for you today. Idolatry is when you bring statues into your home, like what religious statues, and you bow down to those statues. So when you bring these things into your home, you got to be very careful not to bow down to them and adorn them like you would Christ our Lord. Because when you do these things, that's called idolatry. And that's one of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not have any gods before me. And thou shalt not bow down to thyself. Same, those two commandments tie into each other a little bit. But the main part of it is we're not praying to, we're not praying to the Blessed Mother. That prayer is an accessory prayer. There's a group series of prayers that go into the rosary. And you rehearse and we live each day the nativity, the passion that should be celebrated every day. Not just once a month during the course of which it happens. We should celebrate it every day. Because without the nativity there be no Christ. Without the crucifixion of Christ there be no New Testament we would still be living under the old laws of the Old Testament. So we should celebrate the Nativity and the um, Easter every day. The Passion, excuse me. The Passion and the Nativity every day. Because without those things happening, without those acts of history, we would still be living in the Old Testament, the Old Covenant Law. And a lot, and that prayer of the rosary is real mis, little misunderstood. Some of y'all get offended, but I just want to put the truth out there. You don't have to agree with me. Once again, this is a channel, and I'm presenting the facts to you as they are. And it's not you're praying to the Blessed Mother. You're not you're at. It's an intercessory prayer. You're asking her to intervene on your behalf, just like you would when you're praying to Saint Michael or Saint Anthony or all the other saints. You're not praying to them like that big misconception says that most people have. It's all those are intercessory prayers. You're praying to the saints to ask for intercessory from heaven. You're not praying to them to solve the problem. You're praying you're, you're praying to you're praying to ask them to pray on your behalf. You're not praying to them directly to solve the problem. That's Christ's job. What you're doing is asking for intercessory from heaven so they can go to Christ for you and say, this was a petition that was sent to me by this person. Like St. Michael's job, he is the archangel. Like if souls are lost, you pray to him, for him to come grab these souls of people that have passed to escort them into light. That's his job in heaven. He is the archangel. And I know some of y'all go going to get offended and get up into a hissy fit, but this is the honest God's truth. 
I wouldn't sit there and make up stuff that's not true. You, you don't have to believe the way I believe. That's why Baskin Robbins has Elantine flavors of ice cream. There's something different for everybody. I'm presenting the facts as they are. So, thanks for watching, and take care. Bye.